this is cyberpunk welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about a new tool that can help you to create a usb drive that can hold multiple operating system so till now what we used to do you know like every time we need a different os we need to download it we need to format our usb device and then burn it using different utilities or like ultra is or rufus or anything else and with new uh, operating system or new version of the operating system once it is released again we need to perform the same step and for having multiple operating system handy with you you need to have a bunch of usb devices available but this uh, tool will help you to uh, to take care of all these problems so we'll directly head to the link that is when you need to search ventoy and get her you will directly go to this link click on it read about it there is an official site about it it's an open source tool i recently came across and i'm just playing around it so they have mentioned that which all iso they have tested and the list of the iso so 216 is what they are claiming right now and it keeps on updating every day so they are working on it they are trying to improve the performance and everything uh, but if in current in current scenario also it is very handy trust me it is very handy so without wasting any time we'll directly go to the download part of it uh, it is only available for windows and linux user it is currently not available we need to wait for it so as i am on windows machine and i have already did, downloaded this uh, application what i'll do is i'll directly what i'll do is i'll directly take you to to the download part this is a very small utility um, 285k is the size of the exe and uh, to last for the permission you need to give it now as you can see it automatically picks up the usb drive which is associated with this machine and uh, in the package it is showing the version 1.0.10 which we have downloaded ventoy on device currently there is no version of ventoy installed on, the, on this usb drive it is a fresh usb drive and you can see there are two different options install and update so for example if it, it is not installed we need to click on install and later if you want to use the same drive and you see a newer version of ventoy to disk is coming into the market then you need not to you know simply format the drive and install it again you simply need to click on update and it will update the package it will ask for the permission it won't take much amount of time it is very fast so I have also created a collection of uh, ISOs which I will be using. So it says congratulations. A demo video of what I will use Windows Minimal ISO and Clonezilla. I will copy it to the devices. Uh, it will take some time. And what I will do is I will pause the video as of now and will resume it once it is done. great guys so now as i can see these two isos are copied onto the device i didn't burn it i didn't do any other process i just simply copied and pasted it into the pen drive which i was having which was created using ventoy so now what i'll do next is i'll just fire a vm with a usb as a bootable image and let's see how it goes i'm into the boot manager of the vm and I just need to select boot 0004 over here. Okay, and here, as you guys can see my screen, it is the interface of Ventoy. These are two ISOs on the USB device, and now I am going to select one of them. So, for this purpose, I'll be selecting Windows minimal.iso so that i can show you that it is you it can install windows it is booting into windows uh, since i'm running vm it might take some time to you know start but if you're using it on the physical device it won't take much time it totally depends on the specification of a system 
as you can see the loader started and I guess we will be presented with the setup window and yes it is now you will click on next and perform all the steps as required during windows installation this time we'll select lonezilla again it will take some time because i have not given much resources to my virtual machine oh yes here it is so as you can see i have shown you that you can load both of the operating system one was clonezilla and another one another one was windows with the same usb drive which was plugged into our vm machine and it was created using a so it was it is amazing tool i mean like definitely it is going to last longer and uh, feel free to ask any question in the comments if you have any queries any doubts you can directly ask me into the comment i'll reply to them for sure